the specific rotation of a dextrorotatory enantiomer of an alkene whose molecular mass is 126 is 67. What is the observed rotation of 0.75 molar solution of levorotatory enantiomer of this compound in 1 dm decimeter length tube? So, what is the data given? Let us first write. Alpha specific is given. Alpha specific is 67. Molar mass is 126. Concentration is 0 0.75 molar. They asked us to find out alpha observed. What is the observed rotation they asked. So what is the formula alpha observed is equal to alpha specific into C into L. Okay. That is alpha specific is 67 into concentration I will explain now 0 0.75 molar means 0 0.75 moles present in 1000 ml given mass by molar mass is number of moles given mass by molar mass is number of moles so given mass Molar mass into number of moles will be given mass. Given mass by molar mass is number of moles. Molar mass into number of moles will give you given mass. So molar mass is 126. Given mass is given mass we are finding. Molarity is 0 0.75. Number of moles is equal to given mass by molar mass concentration here should be mass per ml so moles into molar mass will give you mass in grams so most moles is 0 0.75 moles into 126 this is present in 1000 ml 0 0.76 into 0 0.75 into 126 is present in 1000 ml. In 1 ml, how much will be there? 0 0.75 into 126 grams is present in 1000 ml. In 1 ml, how much will be there? That will be the concentration in gram per ml. So, the concentration in gram per ml will be 0 0.75 into 126 divided by 1000 that is equal to 6.33 specific rotation of the compound observed rotation is 6.33 now here if you see there is plus 6.33 and minus 6.33 also specific rotation of dextrorotatory enantiomer is given and they are asking us to find out specific rotation of a levorotatory enantiomer if dextrorotatory is plus 60, 67, levorotatory will be minus 6.33. For levorotatory, it is minus 6.33. Observed rotation of a levorotatory compound is minus 6.33.